else you have been evicted? She's so happy. Mm. Same hotel. So that's the mass problem. Hey, man. Why? <laughs> Hey, God, have bless you. God, I beg, deliver your children. <laughs> guys, did you put here Lima? Did you get? Did you guys just hear her? Heard that? You guys heard that, right? I wonder why she's bothered. Jared has been evicted, and Elsa has been evicted. No doubt that Lima is happy that at least Elsa is like a thorn in her flesh. Judging from what happened yesterday, guys, from night party. Yeah. It was a lot. It was a whole lot. Like, it was a whole lot. No, if any guy does that to my daughter or my any of my sisters, hey, God, please, oh, that would be the end of it. It was a lot. Like, that. this one is beyond getting her jealous. So, guys, when Els was evicted, Lima was happy. You could see it in, on her face. In fact, Els hugged everybody almost like not everybody shall but some persons okay so we are willing to stand up somewhere okay but lima didn't even make a move and she didn't go to lima either so when she left you know Elsa was just so happy oh lima was like mm -hmm, same hotel she's happy she's so happy same hotel of course you guys know that once they are evicted from big uh, big brother's house not like they are going to travel immediately. No, that's not the way it's done. They are still going to be lodged at the hotel and they'll do all the necessary media rounds until they finally free them uh, to go. Okay, so for the next couple of days, they are still going to be like there and some kind of treatment will be given to them, executive treatment, and they will have their media rounds before they finally leave the house. So you guys, Lima was just like, I said, ah, what are you still in love with jared of course guys you know that getting over an ex is not an easy thing to do because there comes to a point where you have the denial you have the acceptance and that means you've just come to terms with reality you just have to accept the fact that you guys are no more but it's not really gonna be easy not for someone you've really spent a lot of time with and someone that you've You've come to fall in love with, like on the part of Lima, no matter what she says, you can see that Lima is in love with Jared. And yes, she loves the guy so, 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 so much. And Jared actually said it because he kept on doing what he was doing because he felt Lima was always like tolerating him, kind of. So he didn't know what he was doing, whatever he was doing. So I said, So does it mean you're not going to sleep this night or you're just going to be thinking about what's jerry that else will be doing whatever they like to do if you say no to something don't look back that's what i just feel lema should just she should not just look back just just keep on moving keep moving keep moving don't look back yeah don't look back don't don't look back okay because you can't change anything whatever you can't control whatever you can't change there's nothing you can do about it definitely so the thing is you just have to let it go and don't even bother about what they are going to be doing what they are not going to be doing or whatever because you may not get to see jerry again or you guys may see and i don't think bb misasi do um reunion so just forget about it forget about it and don't go thinking about what they're going to do or what they are not doing you guys know so now they've come back to the house she's like oh jerry banks are not here so oh this girl is in love with jerry and there is nothing we can do about it that is the gospel truth i think she's just using mcginio to like so that she won't get bored or she won't feel lonely or she won't really feel the pain. It's a kind of way of like, you know, relieving herself of that pain of the heart. I don't know if you guys have seen a situation where a guy breaks up. I think in a movie he breaks up he with a girl and next thing he moves on to another person. Not because he's really into that person, but just because he doesn't really want the heart of the other one to get to him. At times it does happen. Yeah, it does happen. It's, some guys just, or some ladies too, they do it. It could be vice versa. Okay. So I'm just saying, you should just let Jared go because Jared was a lot to you, a whole lot. And the fact that he 
he hadn't nominated you he never nominated you but the fact that he wanted to like get you a strike and if you guys had listened to Liema when she explained the whole situation that happened, she said Jared was like calling her all sorts of names. Jared, Jared was like provocating her, like provoking her. You know, there was some provocation, like he was using some words that could hurt her and make her react okay and she was like trying to pacify the whole situation trying like that that was the reason she held him because at the time you could see that in the party she held jerry and we we're like what are these pussy maybe they are just having some kind of test at it but no it wasn't a tete a tete like they call it it was actually they were actually having argument and she was just trying to like tolerate and taking all the things jerry was saying but he was doing those things on purpose because he wanted to get her provoked. He wanted to get her to react so that that might get her a strike or kind of disqualification, which was very cruel of him. Honestly, it was very cruel of him. But I think Lema should just move on. She should just move on. Yeah, she really needs to. And moving on is not with Mark Jr. because Mark Jr. is way more older than Lema and... He understands life more than she does. So I know he would see, understand that she's just using you because she's hot. Yeah, because she's trying to like, you know, move away from the reality of being in that situation with Jerry. Okay, but I don't think she's really, 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 really into Magina because she's still going to choose Jerry anytime, any day. But she just needs someone like to to like help her help her get away from that okay she needs to just take it off her mind and the only way she can do that is just to, like you know get so 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 close with mac Jr. and you know act like mac Jr. is that significant other so that she can at least get rid of jerry and whatever he has but from what she exhibited today, we tell you guys that she's still in love with Jerry because if she was not, why would she care? She shouldn't care if Jerry is going to spend the um, time with Els outside or if they're going to be in the same hotel or whatever that is happening around them. You don't care anymore. Like, like you're supposed to be like, like I care, but you do care, my baby. She does care. But let's see how it goes. Now, she's going to play a solo game or. We just can't wait. We just can't. In fact, I just can't wait because even yesterday, Sinai and Makeke were like, hmm, if they survive, they're going to do this. They're going to do So I just can't wait to see what Sinai and Makeke are going to do in the coming weeks. So, you guys, that's that for that. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye.